Begin by removing the double coiled hose from the barrel and motor. This is achieved by pushing the hose in, compressing the green connector, and then pulling the hose out. Next, loosen the set screw on the adjustable guide arm and separate the two pieces. Take the main stand with the magnets and attach it to the ferrous metal possum belly in the desired location. Loosen the set screw on the guide arm that attaches to the guide rod and make sure that it moves freely. Pick up the barrel by the guide rod and place it into the possum belly. Then reattach the adjustable guide arm to the stand. Lower the guide rod to the bottom of the possum belly and raise it up about 3 to 4 inches. Once satisfied with the position, tighten the set screw to lock the guide rod in place. All of this is done to keep the agitator from wedging on anything inside the possum belly while it travels along the guide rod. Tighten the set screw to lock the guide arm in place. Now is a good time to test the agitator to ensure that it moves freely and nearby objects are not impeding its range of movement. Reattach the double cold hose to the agitator, making sure that the black line goes to the motor and the clear blue line goes to the barrel quick connect. Remove the oil reservoir and fill with air tool oil to the top of the sight glass. Attach the oil reservoir and then turn to the indicated locked position. Make sure the ball valve is in the off position and hook up the air supply hose to the male coupler. Turn on the ball valve and adjust the regulator pressure knob till the motor is engaged. No more than 5 to 20 PSI is needed to operate the agitator and 10 PSI is usually the best setting for optimal gas extraction. Adjust the oiler to 1 to 2 drops a minute. Failure to do so may reduce the life of or cause the motor to seize up. Attach your sample line to the top of the riser quick connect, then give the agitator one last go over and you're done. If the agitator fails to float freely along the guide rod, it is due to the misalignment of the float and the agitator guides. Remove the agitator from the stand and turn the float till its guide is in alignment with the barrel guide. In the event the agitator needs to be set up in a fixed position, remove the float from the barrel, then attach the barrel to the guide rod. Attach the fixed barrel and guide rod assembly to the stand. Adjust the height until the barrel exhaust is an inch or two above the water level, then tighten the guide rod in place. Reattach your double-cold hose and you're done.